years ago, not that many, but a couple, I was invited to join a, a group of songwriters. And I felt very flattered to be asked to join uh, a group of songwriters who would get together once a month and share songs that they had written during the previous month on a theme which had been presented to them. I thought that was an intriguing idea, and I was delighted to join the group. I said, yes, I'd be delighted. Count me in for next month, and thank you very kindly. What's the theme? They said the theme was religious experience. Mm. <laughs> and I immediately felt apprehension because I really don't have a lot of religious experience. Uh, but I was stuck. And uh, given the nature of the topic, it took a couple weeks of the month to even get rolling on any kind of ideas. And I was just stuck. I mean, what am I going to say about that? And I began to get quite nervous. And I got more and more nervous as the date got closer and closer, especially since I had yet to actually begin writing any kind of song. Um, it's a big topic. And I, I did come up with some ideas. I started putting some things together. Indeed, it was driving to the event. I was actually at stoplights making little changes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was getting, by this time, very, very nervous about this. You can imagine performing songs, but, you know, on this topic. And, this theme, and I got there, and I was even more uh, mollified as people began sharing their songs. Other songwriters played their songs. For example, a young man sang a song about finding God in the little things in life, like the sun coming out from behind a cloud or a flower opening, these beautiful little moments that were reflected in his music. And then a, a woman sang a song that she wrote about her father, but in a way it kind of was about everybody's father, you know, in a big way. And I was touched and moved and at the same time terrified because it was my turn next, and this is what they got. <laughs> In the beginning, God had a plan to minimize the sin between woman and man, a life of naked innocence in the Garden of Eden. But Adam and Eve sampled fruit and donned leaves, ate a carnal apple, tasted the seeds, and soon began to realize that there was something more that they would need. The Lord got mad, began to shout, threw that shameless couple out. But as they left, they took away a blessing we still have today. She is no angel, I am no saint, Mother Teresa. And the Reverend Billy Graham, we ain't but loving with my baby is a religious experience. <laughs> that sweet embrace, we are locked and rocking in holy roly toward a state of grace. I'm not concerned a bit with sin, cause loving with my baby is a religious experience. <laughs> On her knees, in genuflection, Grant us, please, this resurrection. Surrender to the lust she is in. Hallelujah, I am risen. <laughs> Total absolution, how her body fits with mine. You can call it evolution or intelligent design. I don't care, loving with my baby is a religious experience. <laughs>
Yeah, that's so I'm, 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 I'm going, I, some people are going to want to talk to me after the show. I don't explain to me that my you future. You want to know what church you get. <laughs>